Two ratios. Two ratios. Okay. Um, this is a big one. Excuse me. I need eyes up here, iPads down. Most of what this lesson is talking about is ratio tables. And if you look at ratio table definition right below it, we have an example of a ratio table. When we are dealing with ratio tables, we are talking about arrows, right, you guys? Yeah. What are the arrows similar to from what we've worked out with in the past? Everybody? Bubbles. So they're just like our bubbles. Uh, the first thing we did is we talked about um, creating an Arnie Palmer, which is a mix of lemonade and iced tea. We drew a picture, or we drew a dart picture. Arnie Palmers have one cup of lemonade for three cups of iced tea, at least how I make them. All together, that's four cups. Whoever's clicking, stop clicking. And then for, to understand the problem, we kind of put the problem into our own word. We said, or into our own words. We said, for every one cup of lemonade, there are three cups of iced tea. Yes, no? Mm -hmm. For every one cup of lemonade, we have three cups of iced tea. That's how we make our Arnie Palmers. And then I asked you to make a larger batch using a ratio table. And you all started with the recipe I gave you, one lemonade to three iced teas. Yes, no? And somebody just said, well, I'm just going to double it. If I double my lemonade, I go from one cup to two cups, right? Eyes are up here? So if I double my lemonade, so if I double my lemonade, I also need to double my iced tea. And so if I had three cups of iced tea in my Arnie Palmer batch, I would now have how many? Six. Six. If you wanted to make even more, you would simply... In this case, quadruple it. Multiply your one cup by four and multiply your three cups of iced tea by four. four. Yes, no? Yes. And again, those arrows represent our bubbles. Okay, I'm asking a question from all to all of you when I go like this. I know we can't see this in the video right now, but my arrows represent my bubbles. If you're not looking at the screen, if you're looking at your knee or your desk, you're not following along in my book. So our rule is we can find equivalent ratios, or we find equivalent ratios using multiplication or division. We're not going to use repeated addition or repeated subtraction. We agreed to that, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can, but it gets confusing. So I'm not going to talk about it in the video. Number five, you were filling in some numbers. I gave you, in this situation, four pens to six pencils. If this person now has 12 pencils, how would I keep the ratio equivalent? How do I go from 4 to 8? Times 2. Or how do I, um, what do I multiply from 6 to 12? I multiply by 2. So 4 times 2 is 8, right? And so on and so forth. Joe, your eyes should be up here. Eyes are up here. On the screen. Is that clear to everybody? Okay, good. This was our big problem. Um, we gave you a, um, a box of crackers. We said that around the box of crackers, there are 36 crackers. Um, for every 36 crackers you eat, 240 milligrams of sodium are ingested. How much sodium is ingested if you eat 15 crackers? So we started off with 36 crackers, 240 milligrams of sodium, right? And I believe, who was this one again? Who did this ratio table? Kelsey. Kelsey? Kelsey said, well, I know I need to get to 15, and I cannot really get to 15 easily from the number 36, using multiplication or division, right? So she said, I'm going to divide by 6 to get to 6 crackers, yes? So if I divide the crackers by 6, I have to divide the sodium by 6, right? And how much sodium have I now ingested? If I eat 6 crackers, how much sodium? Sodium. Okay. Kelsey knows to get from 6 to 15, I still can't get there easily using multiplication or division. So she divided the 6 crackers in half. So if she divided the 6 crackers in half, she had to divide the sodium in... Hello? Half. Okay, so now she has 3 crackers, 20 milligrams of sodium. Can she get from 3 to 15? Yes. yes. Pretty easy now, right? So if she multiplied the three crackers by five, she must multiply the sodium by five. five. Here is your answer. Second way of doing it. Layla, Sophia. They simply started with the same table. 36 crackers, 240 milligrams of sodium. 
Then they wrote, I need to get to 15 crackers. So instead of going through all of the friendly numbers, remember the friendly numbers? They simply took 36 and divided by 15 to figure out how they got there. So 36 divided by 15 gives them a quotient of 2.4, right? Yeah. So to get from 36 to 15, they divided by 2.4. What they multiply, or what they divide the 240 by? 2.4. Is that a much faster way of getting to the answer? Yes. I know it's a long video. Super important concept. If you're at the end of this video and you're still confused, rewind, watch again. 